Mayor Ted Wheeler allowed Portland's state of emergency to expire at noon today. And that state of emergency was in response to riots in the city just last week. Our Liz Birch joins us now from 23rd Avenue. And that's where rioters broke windows of local businesses, even through a rock through an apartment window. We see some of the damage today. And so, Liz, I understand you spoke with some business owners there who feel like the possibility of destruction is not over just yet. Elizabeth, absolutely. So according to witnesses and according to McMinimins, people from that mob broke off, pushed their way into Ram's Head Tavern here and knocked over the host stand. Say they also spray painted a window. But follow me around this direction because if we look up there, you can see that window that's been smashed. Police say riders threw a rock through the window of that apartment because they were upset the person inside was recording them. In Friday's riot, vandals also spray painted local restaurant Marrakesh and damaged a Starbucks. We talked to the owner of the Hip Hound nearby on 23rd Avenue. She says she's worried destructive riots in the neighborhood will devastate this area like it already has to downtown Portland. She's also concerned after hearing about what happened there at Ramshead. Super scary. You don't know where they're really going to hit. Obviously, if there's, you know, breakings. People, places are boarded up, tags all over. That's not attractive either for people to be walking around. Fortunately, Rams had said they were able to lock up their doors quickly and get their last customer out around 10 20 p.m. Police say they didn't have to use any force in dispersing the crowd. You're going to hear from police about how these riots are impacting all of Portland coming up at 5 o'clock. If you want to see the DA's response and the mayor's response, go to website coin.com.